Hello, welcome back. My name is Set, and we are playing Broken Age. Hopefully, you've been keeping up with the series. Um, so we just switched over to the new character, and my subtitles are on. Let's just check that real quick. That's an awesome name. Beastender. Oh, I'm, I probably have to click something, don't I? There we go. <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose? To Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Mmm, cupcakes. Sugar bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. <laughs> I guess that's the name in the city, Sugar Bunting. Or is that just the smell that she? Uh, there you are. I was getting worried. What the worried that I chickened out? Baked. No, I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right. Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well. There is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Snap! Come on! Challenge! Uh oh. Come on. Come on, Punky! Hey, I can go in here. Hello? Surprise! Holy crap, so, creepy yay! bread lady. There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! Exactly. Right, but come on, let's get this good time over. Priorities, here. woman. Now where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <laughs> Jesus, is there gonna be a sacrifice too? Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> Know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. Soaked wants in the blood of, of our enemies. Maybe I can. Um, I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Oh, I think that's supposed to look like Mag Chathra, my handsome date to the prom. What? What is this ball? Kitchen? Yeah. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my Holy crap, girl. there is gonna be. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. A sacrifice, maybe? Mm -hmm. oh, where is that darn knife? Grandpa Beast Ender? <laughs> My mouse you know got where stuck. Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this maiden's feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl. Stand up for yourself. I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. Hmm. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? The Vena Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, 
Yes. I better go find <laughs> that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Mm. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? I better go find that knife. Hmm. Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullet, and had us out the door already. Jeez. Oh. Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Aren't you paying attention in Maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and... I'd have seen six of them, so hey, wow. are you 84 years old? I'll never tell. At least 84 years old. What is Mog Chakra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of grand mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chakra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon. Uh, no, uh, that story. wouldn't be lucky at all. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? <laughs> the Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years. And then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. <laughs> Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beat me. Snap. Mog Chakra attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloth just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. She's so creepy. Yeah, pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the maiden's feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take oh, wow. Rest. Stand in the corner and look pretty. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chakra? Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chakra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? It's very no. twitchy. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. And bless her soul. So, who's she? The town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected, and your family will be shamed. She like my her paternal grandmother. Uh -huh. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. Oh. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. <laughs> Not until I find All that right. knife, young lady. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe it's over by him in like a drawer over here. Grandpa Beastender? Uh, Grandpa Beastender? Nope. I'd better go find that. Where would I? What could I do with that cloak Maybe thing? Is this anything or is this the father? Oh yeah, well, I'm going back hey, there. Don't go get dressed yet. I don't oh, come on. Cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. Oh my god, so many innuendos. Or is it just my dirty mind? Definitely for me. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. What the heck? Hey, don't go get dressed. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Think, Mark. 
I hope that dress isn't to scale. How I think that's supposed to look like Mag Chakra, my handsome date to the prom. Sit in her hat. Hmm, I'm missing something here. Like, what can I do with this? Huh? Put it over his head. Need a towel, Grandpa? Why? Do I look like some old drooling invalid to you? <laughs> okay, guess not. Who else would need a towel? Put it over her head. There. I'm tempted to snap her with it, but I don't want to embarrass my mom. Snap who? In the what? Where would I? One of my mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. Remember I have it. I could cover it up, but I'll have to face him sooner or later. I'm tempted to snap her with it. I don't want to mess up the frosting. Drying that won't help. Okay, so something wet. Uh, but where could I go? Is it over here? Is it just the door? No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Hey, don't go get. Yeah. Where is that darn knife? Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought them? The only thing she wants is that knife. Think, Maria, think. He's already got a towel. What is up with this towel? Need a towel? Do you see any frosting on my face? No. You're very neat. I know how to hide the evidence of cupcake stealing. Okay. One of my mom's special dish towel. Hiding them won't do any good. Rocky's got the scent. Who's Rocky? Is she Rocky? I don't want to mess up the frosting. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm just gonna continue on and get back to you when we make some progress over here. One of my mom's special dish towels. And it's to need a towel, Grandpa? Why? I'm tempted to snap her with it. But I don't want to embarrass my mom. Snap her with it. Towel whip. Definitely from the other side. I could cover it up. I I think that's supposed to look like Mag Chakra, my handsome date to the prom. This stupid knife is ruining my daughter's special day. Ah, uh, why not? Aha! Okay, so then we give the cupcake to the uh, old man, sweeten him up. For you, Grandpa. Mind if I do. Do cheese. So now tell me where the knife is. Grandpa Beastender? Where is the knife? Oh, do I have to Don't touch the red ones? Mom made those just for me. Okay. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six. Holy crap. <laughs> Explains a lot. Uh, who would have it? Nope, not there. For me. Split it with you? Deal. 
Aha! Ha. Gotcha, sucker! On second thought, you can have Fell into my trap. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? No, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. I he threw the knife at her, <laughs> tossing it onto there. No. Stab it in the back and run away. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time, honey? Why don't you just kill Mob Chopra? <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Jeez, so depressing. Majestic to behold. Oh, inspiring, powerful, mysterious. But Mob Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mob Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes. Fun size delish up for crabs. Please come, Mob Chopra, and make your selections. It's like those sweatpants that say juicy on it or something. Hot stuff. Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. This is so weird. Right. What is she supposed to dance or something? No, it's not right. Oh god, is that it? I should be in the center. I make myself the center of any one. Center of mass, maybe. God damn. No more hugging these girls. Mob Chopra responds to beauty above all else. She's got a chicken leg. Where the dress ends and the cake starts. So cake. <laughs> hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give. What is on her head? No, oh my gosh. Sheesh. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. Yeah. I wanna die. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chopra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Mm. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Hmm. How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. I don't want to give up my towel. As you learn from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you always bring a towel. Let's see what the others um. say first. Maybe I will have to give it to her. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, Gee. But you will lie if you come near my food again. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Okay, what does she have? Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Mm. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. What is up with this thing? So strange. She's drinking. <laughs> That's disgusting looking. It's like pustules. Is that how you say it? I don't know. 